Hello everyone! So I will be doing a reading vlog. I don't know how many days throughout the week that I'm going to be doing. It is Friday, May 17th. It's like 9pm. I'm starting a little late, but right now I am editing a video and hopefully that will be going up soon, maybe tomorrow. The current book I'm reading is Lost Girls, an unsolved American mystery by Robert Holker. I am about 200 pages in. I really like this. It's a true crime novel. I'm reading it for the Peterman book club. I really like how so far this is very victim based. Mostly it is talking about the victim's lives, which I love because this is about sex workers who were killed by serial killer and the police did not care. The people just did not care. And so I'm glad that this author is taking the time to care and to let people know who they were. I'll check back to you whenever. It's about 1.50 a.m. on Saturday morning, I guess. Just gonna read a couple more pages and then go to bed. This book is so sad because one of the victim's sister is just talking about how the media and everyone judged the girls because they were escorts and that the, the media was saying these girls were like this because none of their families cared about them, which is not true. It's sad how it's like, oh, their escorts are bad people and don't deserve to find justice. But these women were mothers, sisters, daughters, but all I ever saw them as was escorts. And it just makes me so sad and angry at the same time. It is Saturday at 11 a.m. I'm on my way to my friend's house. We're gonna go hiking at Bushkill Falls, so that shall be fun. We're just gonna hang out and talk, maybe do a puzzle. We've been working on a puzzle for a year and it's really hard. <laughs> yeah, I know I'm old and boring, but I don't know how much reading I'll get done today. Probably at night when I'm about to go to sleep is when I usually read if I had a busy day. It is 2.33 a.m. on Sunday, I just got back from my friends, so I did not read at all today. Tomorrow I go to work, but hopefully afterwards I will get a lot of reading in because I really want to finish this book. Hello, it is May 19th. It is Sunday at 12.30. I'm on my way to my job where I'm clean, and when I'm cleaning, I shall be listening to the audiobook Zodiac by Robert Graysmith. It's a true crime novel. It's 7 p.m. on Sunday, May 19th. I just came home from work and I listened up to about two hours from the audiobook Zodiac. It is very interesting, very sad obviously, but good. Just eight more hours of the audiobook, the long one. It is Monday, May 20th at 7.03. It's been a really nice day out and I just got home from taking my dogs for a walk. And now I will be reading for a bit. To rest. I am on page 283. There's about 384 pages. So I have like 100 pages left. So hopefully I will get this done at least by tomorrow and then start reading something else. It is Tuesday, May 21st. It is around 7 o'clock and we just got out from seeing Detective Pikachu. I loved it. Okay. It was so cute. He is just a butthole, so... I'm spoiled when it comes to Pokemon. 
Like that kind of dragged a little bit. It didn't. It was adorable. I loved it. I liked it. Go see it. I'm spoiled. He's not spoiled. He's I've just... seen all the other ones. Like this movie's okay. Don't listen to him. Okay. Just don't. Don't. No. Don't listen to him. <laughs> it is 10 p.m. and I'm just gonna be doing the treadmill, and I'm going to be reading while I do so because I have like. 80 pages left and I am determined to finish it tonight. So I'm just gonna go a little bit slow walking on the treadmill and finish it. It is May 22nd at 2.45 a.m. I'm very disappointed with myself. I didn't finish this book. I have 30 pages left, but I'm tired. So I'm going to bed. It is 12 p.m on Wednesday, May 22nd, and I finally finished the book. I liked it, very um, victim-based, which I liked because sadly it's unsolved, which that's really annoyed me, but what can you do? The only problem I had was like towards the end, it was hard to get the people straight since there's so many people involved and so many aspects to these people's lives. It was hard to remember who was who but i really liked it because it gives awareness to sex workers and how they are treated and especially by the police if they're gone missing or killed or anything they are treated like they aren't humans which is wrong and so i really liked this book it brings awareness to that but later i have work again which during that, I'm going to be listening to the audiobook Zodiac like I did last time. It is around 4 p.m. on Wednesday, May 22nd. I'm just doing some laundry. And while I'm sitting here, I will be starting The Vanishing Stare by Maureen Johnson. This is the sequel to, uh, to Truly Devious. I remember liking the Truly Devious. I gave it like a 3.5 star on Goodreads. The murder mystery part I liked. There was a lot of fluff in the middle, but overall I did enjoy it, so I decided to read the sequel. I just started this book and it already made me a little angry. They're talking about 1936 at the Ellingham Academy, and the Academy is for like really rich people from famous families but they let in scholarship kids who are really smart. And the one girl who is very rich is just like, I know we shouldn't treat them any differently, the poor kids. And I know that she's really smart, but it's just awful. And it's just like, ugh. You already admit that she's very bright, so she deserves to be there. But just because she has less money than you, she's not as important. I think that's so ridiculous. And things haven't changed much since 1936. I don't know how the main character, Stevie, is dealing with her family because her family supports this Pennsylvania senator who she describes as the worst person in the world. She says that this guy wants to keep outsiders and bad elements out of America, which means people who are not white and are not rich and that climate change doesn't exist. I don't know how her parents support this person but it does sound very familiar during this horrible horrible time in america i don't know how anybody supports him either it is thursday may 23rd at 10 p.m today i listened to on youtube helter skelter the true story of the manson murders i listened to this while i was mowing the lawn. I got like 40 minutes into it. However, when I checked, it was like only eight pages in the book. In the beginning, there are like four pages of list of characters and how they played a part in it. For example, it says, Hughes, Ronald, once Charles Manson's hippie lawyer. He later defended Leslie Van Housden up until the time he murdered by the family. So that took up a lot of time during listening. So now I'm actually in it to the events that took place and so it should go a lot quicker and more pages. I switched over from Zodiac because this is 
for my book club. It is June, July, and August's book. Since it is a big book, this is kind of like a an extra credit kind of book. But I've always wanted to read it, so I decided during my free time when I'm doing housework, like mowing the lawn or when I'm at my job cleaning, I will listen to this and hopefully get it done. As for the book I'm reading, I'm reading The Vanishing Stare by Maureen Johnson. I am about 100 pages in. I can't say much about this book. It Nothing has really happened, so I can't say if I like it or dislike it. It's just basically setting up the plot to something more, but that will be it for this reading the vlog. So like and subscribe and I'll see y'all later. Bye!